Today, we're going to talk about the new sales copy tools from Niches. I'm super excited. Niches just out of nowhere, at least it was out of nowhere to me. They dropped 16 new tools yesterday, and of those, they now have some sales copy. And we knew that they were going to be adding this at some point. Malcolm had said it inside of the Facebook group. However, it came out yesterday, and here is the sales copy tools. We also have some SEO tools, which is for writing things like meta tags, title tags, things of that nature. Then we have an FAQ tool, a books or eBooks tool, as well as a code tool which has to be one of the cooler things. We'll take a look at that in a separate video. And then we have a pin board type posts, which I think is generating some really good social media content. But today's the sales tool. So let's get started. We have four tools within this. The before after bridge, which is a storytelling or a copywriting formula. So it's kind of for telling a story. You got your before, you got your after, and then you got your bridge. Then you've got a feature advantage benefit which is a formula for sales, the pain agitate solve, which is that pain agitate solution formula that we dealt with that I kind of messed up all the words yesterday in the right Sonic video. And then we have the problem promise proof proposal. Four P's there trying to stump me again. Using this information, my business name, real estate photographer, we take photos of real estate listings. We're gonna generate all four of these reports. And you can do this for virtually any local business or any service-based business, any product. All you have to do is plug in a keyword that describes your business and then say what it does, uh, starting with we. So we take photos of real estate listings. We take photos of properties, whatever it is. And this is what we're gonna get out. So before after bridge, this is something that is going to guide our storytelling process. So the before is we take photos of real estate listings and add them to our database. All right, we don't do that. If you're looking for a real estate agent, you need to know how the listings are taken. It struck out again. Did you know that the average person spends about five seconds on a real estate listing before scrolling to the next property? Let's fact check that. Fewer than five seconds, three to five seconds. So I guess that seems true. I kind of like that one. That's the before. The after, we take photos of real estate listings so that people can engage with them. So that right there, I would change the way that that's worded a bit. But that right there is, I like this one here because this is the problem. You know, people scroll by, you know, bad photos you're not going to look at, good photos you're going to look longer. And then the bridge. Did you know that listing photos make or break the sale? The first image you show potential buyers makes them either feel engaged with your listing or not buy it at all. I like that. I like this one a lot. So I'm actually going to copy this. I'm going to jump into a niches document and we're going to paste in our before after bridge. Problem promise proof proposal. Real estate photos can be expensive and they're not of a very high quality. Promise. With our photos, you can get high quality photos for your home at an affordable price. Proof. Customers say, I can't believe the quality of the photos you get for the price. Proposal. We offer the best photos for the price. So that's a value-based argument there. Then we've got real estate photographers take pictures of homes and make them look fake. We take them and make them look realistic. So let's run this one one more time because I don't like any of those. Let's move on to the pain agitate solution while that one generates. And then we'll say real estate photographers have to spend hours every day taking photos of listings. For example, an agent. All right, so that's not it. I don't like the angle that one's going at just because I see DSLR. And that's going to be, you know, I mean, technically, yes, you use higher quality gear, you get better pictures. When you have to take photos of real estate listings, then it is likely that you end up spending a lot of time in front of your computer instead of actually seeing the properties. Having to look up real estate listings on the internet is not the best use of your time. We take the photos of the properties you need. I kind of like that one. Taking photos of real estate. All right, so this one here is that this is the one right here. So the pain is taking the photos of real estate. The adjutant too often real estate agents capture poor quality photos of their listings. The solution we do better. This is it. This nailed it right here. Even though it's not as much text, that is giving you the copywriting outline that you want to go with. Uh, it's quite simple. So this is our pain agitate solution. Let's move on to the feature advantage benefit. So here we have a team of photographers. We don't. Affordable instant online. Photos are taken by qualified real estate agents. Nope. 
We take high resolution photos of real estate listings to share with the agents. We edit them. Okay, I like this one here. So this one actually, actually I'm gonna run this one one more time and we're gonna see, we refreshed the problem promise proof proposal and let's see what it came up with down here. Real estate photos aren't always great. That's true. We take photos of your property in a way that really shows it off. We have over 500 five-star reviews on Yelp. Hire us to take photos and you'll see what we mean. All right, so I kind of like that one right here. Then we've got, you're paying too much for real estate photos. Again, they're going on the price argument. So I think this one right here is gonna work, but I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna paste. And then back here, I'm actually gonna steal, instead of the 500 five-star reviews, I'm gonna take customers say we have the best. That'll be our proof. It would be much better to have 500 uh, five-star reviews. All right, so the feature advantage benefit, I'm not liking that one. So I'm gonna run it one more time. This is one of the benefits of niches versus other platforms. You can run the unlimited tokens. And we're moving really quick through this. We're generating a sales plan in under 15 minutes. The features, take professional real estate. Advantages, faster and cheaper. Benefits, you'll have professional photos in 20. All right, that's perfect right there. This is it. And then I'm going to add my own sentence, value-driven customer satisfaction every time. Hopefully this video has brought you some value. This is working through getting some sales copies, some ideas, some ways to kind of address the pain points. And in my example here, as a real estate photographer, you want to go after time, the fact that the quality of the photos is poor, which results in a lower asking price or a longer sales cycle. And then you wanna also go with the fact that you're value driven, you're quick, you're reliable, and you're amazing. This is just one example applied in a real world scenario for real estate photography, but you can apply it for virtually anything, carpet cleaning, plumbing. I don't know why I felt carpet cleaning of all things uh, right there, but literally any type of service any type of product you could apply. Maybe next time we'll do a product-based version of this. I'm very excited to get in there, play around with it a little bit more, figure out different angles. I think this right here, paired with niches on a couple of other levels, I don't know exactly the tools, but if we take this type of idea and then we write a script and then we make an explainer video, now we're starting to get places. Again, my name is Scott with AIProfits.com. Like this video if it brought you any value. Subscribe if you want to see more content like it. I hope you're having a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next one.